Hello, this is Rudy. Welcome again to my second tutorial. In this tutorial, I will explain how to uh, load the voice, modify it, rename it, store it into a different library. Okay, and as well explain how to store it into the uh, custom memory of your VL70. So the first thing we do is we go here uh, and we open the voice library. Let's say we want to have a voice here. For example, this one. I want this one. We load it. As you can see, it's now loaded into the VL70. I'm going to listen to it just to see what it does. Not bad at all. But we want to tweak it. That's why we have a VL wizard, right? So the first thing we have to do is we're going to rename it. The way to do that is pretty simple. You click in this field and we give it a name. Test, for example. Element we don't need to modify, but you can as well modify it if you want. As you see, while we have typed this, have a look on the screen of your VL70. It really changes in real time, you see. So if you say, for example, this, voila, now you see it again, it changes in real time. That's cool, right? Now the category. So you could say, okay, we want to select a category that exists or we want to create a new one. I want to create a new one because that's fun. <laughs> so let's take one here. And we call it uh, tenor fun. Voila. Here in the outer, we click on this little one, this little bullet, and it automatically will change the name of the outer. Okay. The remarks we can simply remove because we don't think it's relevant for what we're doing. So. Voila. Okay, put a little bit dots here and that's it. Now we have renamed it. Now we can store it into library. With the new uh, VL wizard, I've created an option to store it immediately into uh, one of the existing libraries. So I'm going to store it into the favorites library. When it's stored in the favorites library, it will be stored automatically under a new category, which is called Tenor Fun. Let's have a look. We click on favorites. Voila, you see it selects automatically this library. Mm. And now we're going to have a look to tenor fun. And what we see is that the saxophone or the voice that we have created is here. We see here the element name and we see the, uh, the voice name. We have as well the dialogue popping up here, confirming that the voice has been stored correctly. Voila. So that's step one. So we made a copy of a uh, voice that we liked. Now step two is we're going to edit or modify the voice. Right? Let's say we're uh, going to open the element editor. Voila. We can make it now a bit bigger. That's as well a modification I did with the latest version. Okay. Now you have as well the little tool here that allows you to jump immediately to a section in the uh, element editor. See, voila. So you can jump over and over to any section. Now we're gonna do some real time tweaking. So I'm gonna take my VX uh, wind controller. I'm gonna check it out. Okay. So I'm going to show you now a little bit what the harmonizer is doing, or harmon harmonic, sorry, uh, enhancer is doing. So if we say, let's say we give it a little bit more read. <coughs> now you hear a read uh, from the driver coming in. Uh, and if we put it a little bit back, <coughs> as you can see, this is the dry signal, if we put it there. So it's nothing from the harmonic enhancer. 
and if we put it a little bit there in the middle or if we turn it while we are blowing you see so it's really fun to start editing in real time thanks to the uh, advanced editor okay so we modified that one let's say that we have the second uh, here the second uh, the modulator that we modify it as well so we give it a little bit a beat okay we don't hear a lot difference so why is that we have a look carry overdrive maybe I'd have to put it a little bit higher probably remove some of the lower frequencies this is okay and then we're gonna have to change the phase probably <laughs> you hear the beat <laughs> quite a lot so we have to put it a little bit back now we go yeah okay first tweaking is done so we can close this one and now we're gonna save it again we don't change anything, we just overwrite the existing voice that we have made. Voila, that's done. So now our voice is stored in the favorites library under Tenor Fun. Okay, but the problem is, if you want to have this voice with us when we are playing a live gig, then we have to store it into the VL70. Uh, the issue is if you move or change uh, the the voice you see I have a Pachman uh, a chip in this automatically it's lost because by doing this you're loading the voice from the IPROM into the current memory of your VL70 so we have to store this voice here that we have modified into the custom memory in order to do that simply click here on open close the uh, custom uh, memory storage voila and here you see you can select the six slots from uh, the VL70 or if you have a EX5 then you can go even to 16 uh, memory slots okay so we have this one you can even change the name again but we ha go will not do that okay so the first thing we do is we store it into the uh, custom memory. Voila, that's one thing, as you see. You saw the little uh, t uh, uh, little guy here moving, telling that the data is transferred. And now we're gonna have to store as well a part of that voice into the internal memory. Okay. Voila. So this is done. By clicking on the internal memory, you will see that your VL uh, is automatically jumping to that memory slot. Why is this important? Because you need the combination of storing the voice into the custom memory and storing as well a part into the internal memory in order to reproduce the complete sound. Don't ask me why. It's a very complex thing that the Yamaha uh, has done, but this is how it works. So if you really want to hear the voice as it sounded initially you're gonna have to select the internal slot so let's uh, try that I'm gonna change the internal slot number because where is this? Sorry. so we have another voice here and here you see it coming back see so let's have a listen if we hear exactly the same voice <laughs> yeah so it has been stored into the VL70 now an interesting thing you have to understand if you see here again custom and internal 
if you press those little two buttons here together, the part buttons, what you will see is actually the relationship between the internal memory here, the internal memory, and the custom memory. Okay? So actually you could change the bank pointer as well on the VL70. Not a lot of people know that, but this is something you can do. So you could actually use your internal memory just as a, a way to store the effects. And then the other part here, this one, is actually the element voice. I know this is sounding a little bit complex, but once you are used to it, you will <laughs> fi find it fun. Okay, we can close this one. We can exit here. So I've explained what? I have explained how to load the voice, I've explained how to tweak it, and I've explained how to store it into the custom memory. Okay, so that's one thing. Maybe a little other thing I want to explain. Imagine you have, uh, let's say, reset here quickly, <coughs> the editor, voila. So let's say that you have no voice in the editor or that you have a voice stored into the VL70 and you want to get it into the editor. Okay, so how to do that? That's pretty simple. Oh, a little bit too much. Okay, let's say that you have a voice stored into the custom uh, memory. Voilà. So... know if uh, these are patchman so I can't take those ones okay. yeah okay let's take this one okay we're gonna load this voice and store it and uh, charge it into the uh, VL uh, visit the way to do that is pretty simple you click the utility button you navigate with the select button to dump out you press enter sorry something went wrong little bit too far yeah dump out you see this has to flash okay now we press enter now make sure with the select button that the current here is flashing as well press enter it asks you if you want to dump don't worry go for it press dump and here you see voila the voices have been loaded it tells automatically that it received a, uh, a current dump out and voila here it tells that the voice is loaded so now you can start tweaking and editing it as well and storing it uh, to any library so that's another way so you can always recover any voice that you have stored into your VL VL70 voila that's it for uh, this tutorial uh, more tutorials will come any suggestion, any idea uh, is welcome. Feel free to email me and I will make some other tutorials. Bye.